Hi everyone! Uh, if you're like me, you like to wear a little bit of makeup to a pool party or to the beach, but of course you don't want to overdo it and look like you're melting cake under the sun. So today I'm going to show you some of the products that I use to achieve this super simple, fresh summer makeup look uh, for any pool party or beach or super, super hot summer day. Now that I have my full sunblock on, I'm going to start with my uh, favorite tinted moisturizer, which is by NARS. It's the Velvet Skin Matte and my color is uh, medium one. And this one actually has a little bit of a sunscreen in it well, it has SPF 30, which I'm really excited about. So it's kind of like sunscreen on sunscreen. I like to wear a tinted moisturizer uh, in the summertime because it doesn't feel as heavy. And sometimes if you wear it light enough, you really don't feel like you have any makeup on. Instead of wearing eyeshadow um, to like a pool party or to a beach party or even if it's like a really hot day, what I do is I use um, a tinted primer and this one is my favorite one. You guys, I love it so much you can't even like see the writing on it anymore and it's almost finished. This is by Urban Decay and it's their eyeshadow primer lotion and this is the gold color. It's called Sin. I love this primer. I can use this instead of an actual eyeshadow. And you can see it has like this really pretty gold tint. And I'm literally just gonna apply it to my eyelids with my finger. And just do a light little simple base. And it's gonna make my eyes pop and just give me a little bit of shimmer for a summer day. So now that I have my perfect coat of just a little bit of a shimmer. That's actually pretty much all I'm gonna do to my eyes as far as eyeshadow is concerned. Um, and then I'm gonna put some mascara on. So for mascara, you can either do a waterproof version or a regular version. I'm actually not a fan of waterproof mascara because I feel like it takes literally like an army to get it off. And I've used oil-based, makeup removers, I've used the wipes, and it just feels so harsh on my eyes that I actually don't like to use waterproof mascara. Um, so here's a tip for you if you're gonna use regular mascara for you know a pool or a beach time. When you get out of the water, just don't touch your mascara because even though it looks like it's kind of like starting to um, you know form together, it will dry that way. So as long as you don't touch it, it won't necessarily run. So today I'm gonna to use uh, one of my new favorite mascaras. It's the Colossal Spider Effect by Maybelline. And I like this mascara because one coat really does go a long way. And I don't like to look like I have a ton of mascara on when I'm at a pool party or at the beach. I just want it, my eyes to pop a little bit. That's pretty much all I'm gonna do. And I only like to do the top coat um, whereas if I was going for a nighttime look, I would also put mascara on the bottom to like really make my eyes pop and look like very dollish and pretty. Um, but just for the sake of it running, I'm not gonna put any mascara on the bottom, just on the top. So my eyes are basically done. Can't live without my favorite eyebrow pencil, MAC Lingering. And I'm going to just line my eyebrows just to make them look a little bit more full. Next, you can either use any blush that you have, your favorite blush or <clears throat> a powdered blush or a cream blush. I'm actually gonna use this Stila one, Gerbera. Um, this is one of my favorite colors because I feel like it, this peachy color is really, really pretty for um, summertime. And I like that it's a cream based. So if I really wanted to, I could use it on my lips and as a blush, which is really great. So today, I'm gonna use it as a blush, and I'm just gonna put on a little bit just to give me a little bit of a rosy cheek. So I can either leave it like this with my lips with a very, very um, tiny bit of the Stila. Um, if you don't like to have anything on your lips at all, you can just use any type of chapstick. I'm a big fan of my EOS chapstick. Um, but what I like to do, uh, and mostly because I get so many compliments when I do this, is I like to wear a bright lip. Um, so I'll go for a liquid lipstick. Today I'm gonna be using uh, the Melted Liquid Lipstick by Too Faced, and the color is um, Melted Metallic Macaroon. I love hot pink. 
I think it just looks really pretty and you can put on your sunglasses and just have a little bit of a hot pink lip and it just pops and it looks so good. So I'm gonna finish off my look. Love me a hot pink lip. The next step, which is uh, gonna be the final step, is completely optional. Um, I know a lot of you are fans of the Laura Mercier uh, Radiance Primer. Some of you have um, drier skin, so you can use this all over your skin. Since I have oilier skin, I'm actually just gonna literally use a tiny bit on my hand. And with my Beauty Blender, I'm just gonna dab on a little bit right at my cheekbones, and it's just gonna give me a tiny subtle glow right along my cheekbones. And again, this step is completely optional. You can skip it, you can add more. I'm gonna add it for just a little pop. And that's it, you guys. How simple is that? You have your mascara, you have your lips, you have a little bit of blush, your tinted moisturizer. So these are all the products that I used for my super simple, fresh makeup summer look. Um, one note though, I actually never ever use any eyeliner. That's just one more thing that has the potential of running down your face. It does not look pretty. Save it for your nighttime glam look because you don't want like, you know, that streak down your face. I'm going to leave a link to all of these products in the description below. So hopefully you guys try them out. And if you do, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking here and check out our review on NARS Velvet Skin Matte Foundation and Maybelline's Colossal Spider Mascara.